Hello, my name is Amber and I am an associate in the commercial dispute resolution team. Throughout the pandemic, we have worked collaboratively with many education clients to help them resolve contractual disputes with their suppliers. Throughout 2020 and 2021, journalists and politicians stressed the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on holiday and travel plans for individuals and households. However, the pandemic has also affected school trips, giving rise to legal issues such as schools, financial exposure to cancellation fees and deposit refunds, the effect of force majeure clauses and limitless debates with insurers. While the world is hoping that 2022 will bring more positive news in respect to the pandemic, issues relating to cancelled school trips are expected to continue. So I thought it would be useful to provide you with some practical next steps should a dispute arise with your travel, travel provider. Firstly, it's very important as a starting point to review the booking terms and conditions in detail to establish whether the school has any contractual basis to seek a refund of trip payments or to refute liability for cancellation fees. You could also consider postponing the trip. S schools may seek to do this and offset retained deposits against new bookings. In our experience, it may be possible to arrange this, but only at the discretion of the trip provider. As most travel terms and conditions set out financial pen penalties for significant amendments to bookings, so we would recommend a detailed review of the terms and conditions in order to ascertain if this is a viable option for the school. We should also consider, consider the Package Travel and Link Travel Arrangement Regulations 2018. Regulation 12 and 13 relate to unavoidable and extraordinary circumstances such as a global pandemic and set out the conditions in which travellers can cancel the trip without liability for cancellation fees and seek a full refund for any monies paid. This is fact specific and does not also always apply. Also consider whether the trip provider is a member of ABTA. ABTA may be able to support schools in resolving disputes with trip providers. We also recommend that you contact your insurer. In our experience, the initial position taken by many insurers is that schools should exhaust all efforts to obtain refunds from trip providers before looking to claim on their insurance policy. However, this is not always the case. So we would recommend that schools contact their insurers as and when the issue first arises to establish a level of color cover in place. You should also look at how you paid. Some schools pay by credit card and it therefore may be possible to obtain a refund from the credit card company. From our experience, the terms and conditions and circumstances differ quite dramatically when dealing with these issues and there is no one size fits all approach. However, with our assistance, a number of education clients have positively resolved issues with their trip providers and obtained refunds of cancellation fees, satisfactorily postponed their trips and or recouped losses via their insurance policies. If you would like any help understanding how you can rearrange or cancel your trip, please do not hesitate to get in touch. Thank you.